10 incredible indie games under $10, all with overwhelmingly positive reviews. But first, let me give you an awesome game for free. Goosey Guess is an excellent party game and is perfect for streamers that want to play a game with their viewers. I'll give a free copy to whoever has the closest guess. Just leave your guess in the comments below and tell me which of these 10 games interests you the most. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed as it helps me grow my channel and get more amazing games I can give away to my viewers for free. The winner will be announced in one week. Good luck! A Short Hike is a charming and relaxing game that lets you explore a beautiful island park as Claire, a bird who needs to reach the top of a mountain to get the cell phone reception. Along the way you can meet other friendly animals, collect items, and enjoy the scenery. The game has a beautiful pixelated art style and a soothing soundtrack that changes with your actions. The game is very open-ended and lets you choose your own pace and path. You can spend as much or as little time as you want on the side activities, or just focus on the main goal. This game has been widely praised for its calming and uplifting atmosphere, its freedom of movement, and its flying mechanics. It won the Seamus McNally Grand Prize at the 2020 Independent Games Festival, so if you're looking for a game that will make you feel good and let you explore a lovely world, a short hike might be just what you need. Vampire Survivors is a gothic horror casual with roguelite elements, where you have to mow down thousands of night creatures and survive until dawn. The game is developed and published by an indie game designer from Italy. The game was released for Windows, Mac, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Android and iOS in late 2022, and a port for Nintendo Switch is planned for August 2023. The gameplay is simple but addictive. You choose one of the many characters available, each with different weapons and abilities, and you can control them on an endless stage filled with monsters. Your weapons fire automatically, and you can collect gems, items, and upgrades to improve your chances of survival. The game has a pixelated art style and a catchy soundtrack that makes the action. The game has a soft time limit of 15 or 30 minutes depending on the stage you choose. If you manage to survive that long, you will face an ultimate challenge, death itself, a powerful enemy that will chase you relentlessly until you perish. The game has a lot of replay value as you can unlock new characters, weapons, and relics for your next runs. Shogun Showdown is a turn-based combat game with roguelike and deck building elements. You play as one of four warriors who challenge the Shogun and his army in a series of duels. You have to position yourself and attack at the right time, upgrade your tiles, and combo them to deal massive damage. The gameplay is strategic and challenging. You can choose from four characters with different abilities and styles, and you have to face six islands with different enemies and bosses. You have a grid of tiles that represent your attacks, and you can move them around to create combos and trigger effects. You can also collect gems, items, and skills to enhance your tiles and unlock new abilities. The game has a pixelated art style that fits the theme and a catchy soundtrack that adds to the atmosphere. Shogun Showdown has a lot of replay value as you can try different characters, tiles, skills, and strategies and discover new secrets and challenges. You can also play the prologue version for free to get a taste of the game. Shogun Showdown is a game that will appeal to anyone who likes turn-based strategy games, roguelike games, or card games. It's a game that requires you to think fast and plan ahead, but also rewards you with satisfying combat and progression. It's a game that has received overwhelmingly positive reviews from players who have tried the prologue version. If you're looking for a game that will test your skills and reflexes but also let you enjoy a colorful and dynamic world, Shogun Showdown might be just what you need. Haven Park is a cozy and relaxing adventure game where you explore and restore a nature park to its former glory. You play as Flint, a young yellow bird who is doing his best to keep his grandma's park up and running and make it a place for the campers to enjoy. The gameplay is simple but charming. You can explore a tiny and peaceful open world and build cozy campsites at your own pace. You can meet and talk to the campers, find the resources required to craft materials and items, and learn their wishes and stories. You can also complete quests and challenges, discover secrets, and unlock new skills and abilities. The game has a pixelated art style that is colorful and cute, and a soothing soundtrack that changes with the seasons. There's a lot of content and variety, as you can visit different areas of the park, such as the forest, the beach, the mountain, and the swamp. You can also customize your character and your campsites with different outfits and decorations. Haven Park is a game that lets you enjoy a lovely world at your own pace without any pressure or danger. It's received overwhelmingly positive reviews from critics and players alike and is a perfect game to relax and explore. Escape the Backrooms is a horror-themed puzzle game based on an internet phenomenon that has been circulating around for years, described as an endless dimension filled with rooms resembling the backrooms of office space. 
You play as a person who wakes up in one of these rooms with no memory of how you got there or why. You have to explore the back rooms, avoid the entities that lurk in the shadows, and find a way to escape. The gameplay is tense and immersive. You can play solo or with up to three friends in co-op mode, and you have to traverse through different levels of the back rooms, each with its own theme and challenges. You'll need to use your flashlight, map, and compass to navigate the maze-like rooms and collect items and clues that might help you escape. You also have to avoid or fight the entities that inhabit the back rooms. The game has a realistic graphic style that creates a creepy atmosphere and a dynamic soundtrack that adapts to your situation. Escape the Back Rooms is a game that will appeal to anyone who likes horror games, puzzle games, or internet legends. It's a game that puts you in a terrifying situation and challenges you to survive and escape. Cultic is an homage to the classic first-person shooter games of the horror genre, such as Blood, Doom, and Quake. You are a lone survivor who finds yourself in a rural town infested by a twisted cult. You have to use your guns and explosives to fend off the hordes of cultists, mutants, and abominations that stand in your way. The gameplay is vicious and intense. You must survive by shooting, sliding, blasting, ducking, dodging, and maybe throwing a jib or two. You can try the free demo version to experience the game's nostalgic, pixelated graphic style that creates a creepy atmosphere and a dynamic soundtrack that adapts to your situation. The game has a lot of content and variety, as you can follow the story mode with different chapters and characters, or play the endless mode with random enemies. You can also replay the game from different perspectives for the full experience. Cultic is a game that will appeal to anyone who likes horror games or old school first person shooters. So glad to see you, friend. I've got just the thing for you. Add as magic cards to play the coolest game. And fight against your friends with no consequence. Let's go! Friends vs. Friends is a frantic online PvP shooter that combines combat and deck building. You choose a character, customize your card-based loadout, and test your friendship with the craziest card effects. The gameplay is fast and fun. You can play solo or with a friend in 1v1 or 2v2 matches, and you have to shoot, dodge, and use your cards to defeat your opponents. You can choose from 10 different characters, each with their own abilities and styles, and you can collect and upgrade cards that give you weapons, traps, curses, and more. You can also customize your character's appearance with skins and accessories. Friends vs Friends is a game that will appeal to anyone who likes deck building games, first person shooters, or chaotic games. If you're looking for a game that will make you laugh and rage, Friends vs Friends just might be for you. Good Pizza Great Pizza is a cozy and addictive cooking simulator game where you run your own pizza shop and try to satisfy your customers. I had a lot of fun playing this game as I started my journey making pizzas with different toppings and sauces, baking them in the oven, and cutting them into slices. I liked how the customers had different personalities and preferences, and how I had to listen to their orders carefully and try to make them happy. Some of them were very picky, some of them were very generous, and some of them were downright funny. I also enjoyed managing my money and expenses and upgrading my shop with new equipment, decor, and ingredients. The game has a colorful graphic style that is cute and appealing and a relaxing soundtrack that matches the mood. If you're looking for something low stress and relaxing with a fresh art style, Good Pizza Great Pizza is worth giving a try. In Webbed, you are a happy little spider who loves your boyfriend very much, but one day, a big mean bower bird snatches him away and takes him to his nest. You can't let that happen. You have to use your webs and your wits to swing, spin, and dance through the forest and save your love. Along the way, you'll meet other friendly bugs who will help you with your quest, but you'll also face dangers and puzzles that'll test your skills and creativity. Can you make it to the bower bird's nest and rescue your boyfriend? Webbed is a game that will make you fall in love with spiders. It's a game that lets you explore a beautiful, vibrant forest, make webs with different shapes and functions, and interact with various insects. It's a game that has a simple but charming story and a colorful graphic style that is cute and appealing. Webbed is a game that will appeal to anyone who likes adventure games, platform games, or being a spider. It's a game that lets you enjoy a lovely and creative web-swinging experience with your own style. Welcome to West Hunt. West Hunt is a multiplayer hide-and-seek game set in the Old West. This is the Sheriff. The Sheriff's role is to find and kill the outlaw. Don't think it's an easy task. Hiding among the town's villagers, going about their daily lives, there's a cunning outlaw. His main objective is to finish all of his missions before time runs out or getting killed by the Sheriff. 
The outlaw silently blends with the crowd and acts like a normal villager. The main missions will appear in yellow. Side missions will be in white. Each time the outlaw finishes a mission, his notoriety will increase. In order to decrease his notoriety, the outlaw can do side missions. The sheriff will get hints depending on the outlaw's notoriety. Hints can be about the outlaw's last mission, last position, or unfinished missions. Hints can be collected from mailboxes located in different places throughout the village. The sheriff has to investigate and pay attention to all the villagers' behaviors. Once the target is located and clear, only one option remains. West Hunt. Lastly, I'll leave you with one game that is just above the $10 mark, but is definitely worth the extra few dollars. Surrounded is an open world survival game where you have to scavenge, craft, and fight to survive in a world ravaged by an apocalyptic catastrophe. You have to explore a large and dynamic map, gather resources, craft weapons and items, build bases and defenses, and fend off the hordes of zombies and mutants that roam the land. You also have to manage your hunger, thirst, health, and stamina and deal with the weather and day-night cycle. You can follow the story mode with different quests and characters or play the sandbox mode with your own rules. You can also play with up to four friends in co-op mode or join servers with other players. I was impressed by its immersive and challenging gameplay. I had to use my skills and strategy to survive in this unforgiving landscape finding the best equipment, weapons, and items to craft and use. I had to explore the map and discover new locations, secrets, and resources, and had to interact with other survivors and enemies, making choices that affect the outcome of the game. The game has a lot of replay value and has a lot of potential for modding and community content. Surrounded is a game that will appeal to anyone who likes survival games, zombie games, or post-apocalyptic games. It's a game that puts you in a desperate situation and challenges you to adapt and overcome. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate your support and your interest in these amazing games. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my future videos. It really means a lot to me and it will help my channel grow and reach more people who love gaming. It'll also help me obtain more awesome games I can give away in the future. See you next time.